enthusiasts came. Almost everything in the world, and photographed the engines. On their last afternoon, they went to the China Clay Works. Edward found it hard to start the heavy train. Did you see him straining? asked Henry. Positively painful, remarked James. Just pathetic, grunted Gordon. He should give up and be preserved before it's too late. Shut up, burst out Duck. You're all jealous. Edward's better than any of you. You're right, Duck, said Boko. Edward's old, but he'll surprise us all. Bill and Ben were delighted with their visitors. They loved being photographed and took the party to the workings in a great grand special. up and out of shape. The passengers gathered round while the crew inspected the damage. Repairs took some time. One of your crank pins broke, Edward, said his driver at last. We've taken your side rods off. Now you're a single, like an old-fashioned engine. Can you get these people home? They must start back tonight. I'll try, sir, promised Edward. They backed down to where the line was more nearly level. Edward and pulled his hardest, but his wheels kept slipping and he just could not start the heavy train. The passengers were getting anxious. Driver, farmer and guard went along the train making adjustments between the coaches. We've loosened the couplings, Edward, they said. Now you can pick your coaches up one by one, just as you do with trucks. That will be much easier, said Edward gratefully. So with the farmer standing carefully in front, the driver gently opened the regulator. Come on, puffed Edward. He moved cautiously forward, ready to take the strain as his tender coupling tightened against the weight of the first coach. The first coach moving helped to start the second. The second helped the third, and so on down the train. I've done it! I've done it! puffed Edward, his wheels spinning with excitement. Steady, boy, warned his driver, skillfully checking the wheel slip. Well done, boy! You've got him! You've got him! And he listened happily to Edward's steady beat as he forged slowly but surely up the hill. The passengers were thrilled. Most had their heads out of the windows. They waved and shouted, cheering Edward on. The fat controller paced the platform. Henry, with the special train, waited anxiously too. They heard a beep, beep. Then battered, weary but unbeaten, Edward steamed in. The fat controller stepped angrily forward. He pointed to the clock. The excited passengers swept him aside. They cheered Edward, his driver and farmer to the echo before rushing off and getting Henry's train. Henry steamed away to another storm of cheers, but not before everyone knew Edward's story. Edward went thankfully to the shed, while Duck and Boko saw to it that he was left in peace. Gordon and James remained respectfully silent.